situation right now where they're yeah, making I know. Well, cuts. Right. And what give... they've said is to balance the budget, not only are they going to make these cuts, but they're also going to ask that the voters have an opportunity to vote to continue taxes. These are not new taxes. These are the old taxes. This is a continuation of the current taxes. Rambo. I would like to thank all of you, students, teachers, and parents, for coming out to the rally in the rain, protesting school budget cuts in BUSD. Even though I know I have your support, I still have a question. Are we worth investing in? Yeah! We, the students of BUSD, do we not show enough potential? Yeah! What are we missing? Why do taxpayers want to take more from us? As you already know, I'm a student at Willard Middle School. My name is Nick Rambob, and I am 8th grade class president. My dream is to attend law school and eventually become a Supreme Court Justice. I enjoy attending Willard very much and think that as a student body, we have an incredible amount of talent to offer. All we need to develop this talent is an outstanding education. However, my classmates and my education is in jeopardy due to the budget cuts. Over the last three years, $11 million have already been taken from BUSD. And if the governor's tax extensions fail to pass, another $3 million will be taken away from our schools. If this money is taken, what will be the effect on the schools? One effect we can be sure of is less teachers, which mean larger classes. Larger classes mean less individual attention, which all students need to succeed. So on behalf of me and my fellow classmates who cannot vote, please contact our legislators and tell them to vote for Governor Brown's proposal to balance the budget and extend temporary tax increases on a special edition June ballot. tax package needs everyone to pay their fair share. We don't have a spending problem, we have a revenue problem. Remember, I as well as the other students of BUSD are the leaders of tomorrow. To be successful and smart leaders, we need the taxpayers of today to invest in us so we can reach our skyrocketing potential and later, when it is our turn, we will have the prosperity to return the favor to our children and grandchildren. Investing in us and education is the best investment anyone could ever make. And I would like to introduce the next speaker who goes to the Communication Arts Sciences Small School at BHS, Berkeley High School, Will Kyanen. Thank you. 